a rather interesting dynamic the conversation has taken. Um, the implication is that uh, my point of view is dangerous. Um, that fascinates me. That always fascinates me when somebody says, you're dangerous. I'm some sort of Emmanuel Goldstein out there now. That's kind of interesting because I often see other people that way. And it fascinates me to have, uh, to be fed a dose of my own medicine. Uh, crazy, true to my, I guess, my masochistic sense of humor. I love it. Um, when people get sort of disturbed by what I have to say. That could be ego, I won't deny that. But it could be something else. It could simply be, um, I must have hit a nerve. I must actually be making a valid point here if people are disturbed by what I say. And you can see the, um, the element of fear when people start saying things like, dangerous. Dangerous? To what? <laughs> um, somebody brought up the fact that I made a hundred plus videos about antinatalism, and I don't really want to talk about antinatalism anymore, but the ideas surrounding it continue to fascinate me and probably always will, i.e. life affirmation versus life denial. Crudely put, I guess, that it, it's much more complex than that. Um, but the interesting thing is, I originally was sort of taken aback by the fact that somebody was taking such an extremely negative view of life, where when, when <laughs> I sort of thought in the back of my head, if somebody had tried to feed me this when I was uh, in the depths of my depression, I may have succumbed to it, to that belief that life is absolutely horrid, uh, or that it, it isn't worth living, or that it isn't worth the risk, or whatever. And that was kind of the impetus, uh, plus the fact that I was mobbed when I started to get involved in the antinatalism thing. Uh, and I said, oh yeah, you think so? Are you going to get me that way? I don't think so. <laughs> You've never met anyone quite like me yet. Um, <laughs> I'll show you what uh, persistence is. But anyway, um, I had that feeling at the very beginning. This is dangerous to people who are depressed. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm the danger. Dangerous to what, though? And this, strangely enough, is a question that I have been forced to ask myself, and I love it. Um, why, is, why is it a depressive sort of psychology, or a depressive philosophy, I guess, dangerous to somebody who's depressive? My own <laughs> prognostications on the whole thing say that it isn't really. Uh, the worst that it can do is wreck somebody's life. Okay, <laughs> I just got done telling everybody over the last couple of years that our life is going to get wrecked anyway. It's going to be erased utterly, abolished. So really, what? where's the danger? Where's the danger of anything in this world? Um, Logic Rolls the Dice uh, mentioned um, Baron Munchausen. Uh, he's sort of my, uh, my hero. Eh? Um, where... In the movie, The Adventures of Baron Munchausen, he is sort of the, the me. <laughs> and uh, a fellow by the name of Horatio Jackson is the guy saying, this world is a terribly dangerous place and we have to be on our guard against all the horrors of existence. And Baron Munchausen just obdurately refused to see the world that way and said, no, the world is nothing but a ridiculous playground. Don't worry. <laughs> Um, and uh, his famous line, your reality, sir, Horatio Jackson's reality, is lies and balderdash, and I'm quite proud to say that I have no grasp of it, whatever, when Horatio Jackson had accused him of having no grasp of reality. He says, you're darn right I don't have any grasp of your reality. Um, so really, is... What I'm saying dangerous is what the life deniers saying dangerous to people who are susceptible to it. Is anything dangerous in, in view of the great leveler? The fact that whatever we do is going to be erased, utterly reversed, completely undone. What difference does it make? Is this don't worry, be happy? Maybe. Um, but if it's your thing to be negative about everything, then what's wrong with that? 